How big of an area? It's not a huge area that it scans. Oh, it can increase in size though. That's a big oil deposit. I like the look of that one. I like the scanner too. I just want to be the mayor. I don't even care about the oil at this point. But we're gonna need it if we want to buy the town. Mole. 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 Idiot. I decided to be smart and save one mole for after the guy found something. Which didn't work out anyways. Well, we just barely hit the edge of the oil, but that's perfect. I didn't need to drill any further than that. Gonna take advantage of this high oil price for now, but also gonna send a mole down to see how big this deposit is, and it's not very big, so I sent another idiot out to find more oil. But I think we have a second deposit right here if I'm seeing this correctly, so we got some oil in the ground. And before I commit too many resources to this one, I need to find out where it is. I think it's probably super deep, which is gonna be super annoying to get to. I am gonna drill hopefully into the magma on the left without hitting a rock, just to get the oil going quicker. I don't think there's a ton in this ground, so I'm not gonna invest a lot of money in this one. I've located that other pocket over here. Actually, there's a few pockets over here, so I'm gonna drill all the way over this way to take advantage of all these pieces. It's all gonna go through one tower for now. And did a very tactical uh, zigzag back and forth there to drill into this final pocket, and we're just gonna pump this all straight up. Then I'm gonna upgrade the pipes for the rear ones for now. This way, we can still be pumping oil while upgrading pipes. Mid-July, I'm gonna start giving some over here for a dollar. If we get a higher than a dollar, we're gonna sell. Apparently, there is still some more oil somewhere over here. It's probably pretty deep, judging by where this guy is, but we'll send down a few moles just in case it's maybe right here or something weird. I found it. It's right down below. It's still all gonna go through one tower. I think once I upgrade the pipes, this will work out okay. And we're just about done upgrading the first section of pipes, and now we'll get oil to the surface super fast. Right as prices go up, so we might need more horses. Yeah, I think we're gonna need more horses. We're gonna throw this down before we start spilling. This is all so much easier when you can get away with putting it all through one tower like this. Though it is getting to be a little bit late in the year. It's already October, and we've still got quite a bit of oil to get out of the ground, so hopefully that thing speeds up the pace. I am also gonna go like this and uh gas this left side to keep the price up this should be worth it if it boosts the price by say 50 cents a barrel and i get a bunch of extra barrels into it that's money well spent the price topped out at about a dollar 20 i'll take that that was a nice little boost and unfortunately since it's already november now i'm just gonna sell to whatever side has the higher oil price it's just like real life pretty soon i'm gonna start giving it away this might have actually worked out pretty well because depending on how big that lower oil deposit is i'm about out of oil right as we hit december so i think we got it all i don't think we spilled the drop and we did that pretty cost efficient now, how did we do? If there's any oil left down there, I'm firing the dowsers, or I'm straight up murdering them. Yep, we got it all. $17,000 profit is pretty good, considering there wasn't a ton of oil. First place. Wow, this person's playing like I used to. The need for new lands takes us over the mountains. We've unlocked a whole new area. Look at all of this. I'm gonna go for right here. That way people will hopefully settle around me and not take my particular spot. Oh good, we'll have lots to work with after this. $2,000. Easy money. Since we're doing fairly well financially, let's uh, increase our position one more time. $11,000. $13,000. I'm good with that. No one's gonna want to pay a lot because everyone's really poor right now. Never mind. He decided to go $19,000. I don't think I want to pay any more for this right now. Do I? Yeah, I do. I want to be mayor of more than anything. That was probably worth it. I have 20% stock now anyway, so someone's gonna need 25% to outdo me for mayor. Even that this is the newest area, it should have the most oil in theory, so. And the moles struck gold right away, straight down to the oil. And we actually have a really big deposit right away. So we're definitely gonna upgrade the size of that pipe and get that oil going into storage right away. This might be some rich ground, because we got a big deposit here and my idiot found another one. Prices are creeping up to about a dollar on the right side, so I'm gonna go at that for now. For near a dollar, I'm going all in. If it drops below say 90 cents, I'm storing. Our dowser friend found more oil somewhere here, and I see more down in the bottom right. We'll send a few moles down to investigate how big this one is. While also drilling down to this one. Okay, we found more oil here, so that was easy. And price on the left has gone up to $1.12 now, so we're going all in on that one for oil. Look at all the money we're making suddenly. Super easy. I think this particular one's going to pay out pretty well because there's a lot of oil deposits down there. None of them are necessarily gigantic, but there's enough of them that there's some oil here for sure. It's June 10th, and I think we're already tied into all the oil on the map because we hired a dowser and he left already. And prices us in this one have been strangely good. We're up to $1.30 on the left and a dollar on the right. And we just found even more oil. It just keeps on giving us a magma. I suspect mid-July that this is going to be our best payout ever. Mid-August prices are dropping, so we're going to store until we get the final price spike at the end of the year. Look at how fast the silos are filling up already. I'm actually going to have to add more already. That's a good problem to have. But these are already almost full, so I'm just going to have to start selling to whatever side is the better price because I can't take anymore, so it's all going over here. That coincides nicely with the uh, price anyways. A dollar. I'm not really sure where my game zone just went, but it left. 
So now we're just going to empty our entire reserves onto this side for now, I guess, because I think we got all the oil and we got a good price. So you guys work your magic. Wow, they drain that thing fast. But look at the prices we're taking advantage of. $1.20 still, $1.18. The rest of it going for about $1.10. $27,000 of basically pure profit. I guess we could send some moles down for some treasure hunting. Maybe the sound of the game stopped because the oil pump stopped. I can hear the moles working. I just can't hear oil pumping. But there's no more oil. I stand corrected. There is more oil. I'm going to try and get my hands on that super quickly. We're actually going to uh, upgrade the drill speed just to try and get to that and give it the ability to chew through rock and get over there and then there's also another pocket here there's so much oil here it's crazy i don't think these deposits are huge but i'm gonna fully upgrade their pipes to get all that oil out as quick as possible i spent about three thousand dollars very quickly trying to get a hold of this oil so as long as we make over three thousand dollars back it was worth it don't know if i'll get the bonus on this one if we're getting all the oil out of the ground it's gonna be close but we got really good prices till the end Oh, we might have actually got it. Oh, we did miss a little pocket of oil and a dinosaur head. But $31,000, we're getting good at this. No bonus, but also no spillage fee. And we're definitely into some of the rich ground. Look at these other idiots. Even they're doing pretty well. There are a bunch more upgrades I could be getting, but I don't really want them because I'm usually able to get all the oil anyway, and I'm not exactly rich. But I might be soon. These all scored in the 40s, this one being the highest with the 46, so I'm going to go right beside that. Uh, apparently, these guys know something I don't, though. They all went up there between all the 40s, which I guess was kind of wise. I went down here because I'm a gambler. And because we're in a position of power here, I don't have to bid for shares unless they're really cheap. And they're not gonna be because someone's got money to burn. $21,000. I'm not paying that much for that. I've still got more shares than the rest of them combined. We have a few early oil strikes on this one. I was hoping for one on the right side given the price of oil over there, but we'll take what we can get. Look at all the oil. Oh, really? Do you think there's oil down there? Because I think so too. I didn't have to spend $100 to find that though. It's January 19th and I had to hire six horses already just to make sure we could handle this long journey over the $1.12 prices. We got a price spike on the left side going up to a dollar, so all hands on deck for that. Already emptied out one of them, but I've already made $3,000, so I got lots to work with for upgrades. Found at least one more large deposit, big enough that I'm actually going to put a whole other tower up to it. This one actually looks really, really big, so I'm excited about that. Plus, we found more oil basically everywhere else. Yeah, I'm going to need more horses. I can already tell because I'm suddenly going to be bringing up so much oil that the game's going to crash. Prices dipped. It's May 11th, but I'm plugged into a ton of oil right now, so I'm going to stockpile until prices come back up, and then I'm going to make a fortune. And apparently there's still more oil to be found somewhere down there. My dowser found yet another pocket. This is going to be the best piece of ground I've ever had. I'm definitely going to be the mayor. I'm going to buy the mayor at this point. I'm just going to straight up buy them. And these oil deposits are massive. I'm really glad I made three separate towers to do this because they're all really big. Even now, I don't know if I'm going to get the oil out, and it's mid-June with fully upgraded pipes. Both both sides are giving me really good prices, so I'm actually going to split the horses. That way they can actually get the oil to where they're going without having any spills anywhere. Oh, I hear a spill coming. Okay, we're going to add as many horses as we can. They're all fully upgraded. Now we're just trying to keep up with the oil. There is magma. I can pump this stuff even faster. We just got to drill into it. Something like that. Oh no, which one's... I gotta pay attention for spills. I'm actually gonna close the rigs instead of spilling because it's gonna be cheaper. Yeah, this is a little bit chaotic, but it's the way it's gonna have to be. Instead of spilling, close the rig, wait for the horses. Cheaper. Much cheaper than pumping out that much oil onto the ground. Tower 1, for now, is out of oil. That's okay because I'm having trouble keeping up because we're pumping that much oil right now. Actually, look at prices. We gotta drop this down again. Not bad, though. $25,000 made by the middle of August. And my reserves are about full now, so I'm gonna have to start selling again pretty quick. Uh, actually, I might have to do it right now. But we're also out of oil. Do we seriously pump all of the oil in the map by September. And those are huge deposits. Actually, you know what? We can just wait then. We don't need to do this. We can wait for the price. It's really just a matter now of what price we want to settle for. I'll probably go as soon as it hits a dollar, we'll dump all this oil out. Because it doesn't really hold over a dollar for very long, so once it gets there, let's take advantage. All 15 horses, maximum upgrades. Tons of oil going in. Look at the price jump. And while this is holding at about a dollar ten, the right side is also creeping up, so one way or another, we're making a ton of money here. And I think we're probably going to switch it over to the right side here, which just past the left side. And it's still climbing, so a dollar ten for the rest of this oil. I'll take that. Hopefully about $50,000 profit. Wouldn't complain with that. Not one bit. Rest of the oil, I think was just dumped in there. Well, $43,000 profit. Not as good as I'd hoped for. Pretty good still. Still October. If I missed any oil down there, I'm going to have to have a talk with those dowsers. I had three of them at the end looking for oil. Three of them found nothing. And it looks like we got it all. Perfect. So including my bonuses, $45,000 profit. Looks like I picked a good ground after all, idiots. If I complete the treasure collection, he'll show me a oil rich bonus island. I like the sound of that. What do I need to do for that? So if I find all of the treasures, he'll let me go to the oil rich island. Yes, those moles are going to get a little bit busier. All the ground over here is really good. That was a 46, 44. Everyone's fighting for ground over here. I'll just take another piece here. It all seems to be in the 40s anyway. Since I've got the money, I want the scanner. I want to be able to scan and see what's down there. The stocks are getting a little 
little bit expensive right now. I'm going to let them have that for $24,000. I still got twice the shares that she does. Let's find some more massive oil deposits. And now I got the scanner that only costs $100. I guess you only find one spot with it, but for $100, yes, please. Found my first deposit. It looks at least decently sized. And there's another deposit to its left. Plus the dowser over here also found something. Are we given area? It's not a huge area that it scans. Oh, it can increase in size though. That's a big oil deposit. I like the look of that one. I like the scanner too. I suspect this might be another profitable piece of ground. And price on the left side has jumped way up, but in order to do that, uh, I kind of want to upgrade my horses first because it's a long journey for them. I don't want to spill any. The okay, horses are upgraded and we might have to close this one. No, this horse should take care of it. Good horse. I closed the valve, but apparently that didn't stop the oil from spilling just a little bit, which kind of sucks because that is going to be really expensive. But we got enough horses now to hopefully take advantage of this crazy price over here. We're just going to go all in on horses right away because when you're up to $1.40 on one side, how could you not take advantage of that? Okay, it's April the 2nd. I have 15 fully upgraded horses right now. We're going to have to start stockpiling oil for a little bit. I don't know much I'm going to be using a dowsers or the moles anymore since I have the scanner, but I'm going to send a few dowsers out to see where the rest of my oil is hiding. I guess I could also just kind of randomly scan. Where's this guy going right here? 250. There's their oil down there. There is another good deposit. And the dowser over here also fell more. I'm just going to scan everything. We'll even find the treasure this way too. 250 is the maximum size. That's pretty much big enough to find any oil that should be down there, and it did. I even laid things out accidentally efficiently enough that I can fit all these silos in. Now, while we're waiting for prices to go back up, all the pipes are going to be maximum upgraded. We're going to do some more scans, find whatever oil is left. And maybe we'll send a few moles down just to kind of investigate, because I do maybe need some magma at some point too, and moles can open up a lot of ground kind of all over the place. And since prices are getting close to a dollar on this side, all hands on deck. It's June now, who knows when we'll get another price spike. Might end up spilling a bit of oil here. No, the horses are moving pretty quick now. Come on, stop it. There it is. And and we're back to stockpiling, though the right side looks like it's getting close. Now let's do some scans and find this treasure that everyone wants me to find. It usually seems to be near the rocks. This is kind of an investment in the future, because if I find the treasure, I unlock better oil areas. Because, I mean, this is going to be a lot of profit anyway. I'm just going to send down a bunch of moles randomly. We'll send maybe 10 down. If they don't find the treasure, I'll do some more scans. We'll find it eventually. $20,000 so far, July 30th. Let's do some more scanning. We gotta find it. They really don't make it easy to find the treasure. I'm gonna send down another five moles randomly, and then I'll start scanning again. Wasting a lot of money doing this now. But then again, I've got money to burn anyway. What do we got to lose? I'm also completely out of oil now, so I'm just gonna continue scanning, trying to find where the treasure's hiding. Usually it's been by rocks, but maybe it could be elsewhere. It's probably gonna be somewhere stupid, like right here. I'm just gonna start putting these down on any uncovered areas right now until I find the treasure. I really hope I didn't already find it and didn't notice, because that would be unfortunate. This might actually be the corner of it right here. Yep, that looks about right. So what do I need to do? Send a mole to it? I think moles can collect it. Mole, go. That did it. Was that worth the $5,000 I spent trying to find it? Probably not. But if I find rich oil ground eventually, then maybe sure it is. Definitely got all the oil. That was an $8,300 spill. I guess I shouldn't be that surprised, but it spilled for like half a second. And that was it. Next time, we're going to find that very special plot of land the Amish guy is hiding from me.